this is happening, I guess. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Cheshire the Cat on the scene with Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. Let's do this. Okay. For those who love story, easiest enemies. Insane. I'm going to go with Sane. I have absolutely no idea what I'm getting into here. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through relay, not a creature was fighting, no one in a fray." Oh, am I gonna have to hit enter or something? Okay, quick context. Uh, someone, an anonymous fan, got, that was just to remain anonymous, got me this when I said I was looking for a game to play at Christmas time. No context. They just sent me this and said, please play this game. So here we are. No stockings were hung by the chimney with care. They all had been naughty. No St. Nicholas there. <laughs> Cthulhu was nestled all snug in non elucidian space, with visions of destruction lightening up his cold face. When out of the altar there arose such a clatter that Cthulhu toppled out of bed to see what was the matter. There shall be no more poetry in my game, narrator. <laughs> There shall be no more poetry in my game, narrator. What's the voice I'm giving him? I promise nothing. What's this? A present? From Santa? This cannot be. Goodness knows I've been anything but good this year. And yet it was a present, and it did have a tag indicating it was from Santa. Cthulhu opens the present. Yeah! What foul sorcery is this? The dark mist envelops Cthulhu, stripping his power away from him. Not my power! That's one of my favorite things! <coughs> Without my power, how am I supposed to destroy the world? No, this shall not stand. What is this game? I shall have my revenge. I will not rest until the blood of Santa adorns my face. Oh my god, happy holidays, everyone! Excuse me, I do not, but I do believe this is a family-friendly game. Do I look family-friendly to you? Plus, the game is literally called Cthulhu Saves Christmas. And save it I shall. Santa has lost his marbles. He must be stopped. To the surface world, my quest for vengeance begins! I'm getting so many Alucard vibes from this. What? Okay. Alright. On the beachy shore, bordered by cliffs of insanity, Cthulhu spots a maiden beast by horrible monsters. A tutorial battle of <laughs> Basic tutorial one, recharge items. <laughs> hey! Most character abilities can be- oh, oh, okay, it's an RPG. I mean, I picked up that much, but... Oh. Oh, god. Abilities can be used once they're disabled. Use a defend command like rest to recharge the character's abilities. Items are shared by the party. They, can they are recharged at the start of the battle, but cannot be recharged mid-battle. Characters gain a hyper point each turn when it. Oh, it's like a berserker thing. Got it. In hyper mode, yeah. Hyper mode. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, this is gonna be good. Damage insane. Mock. Necrocomicon! <laughs> Very one earth damage. Uh, I'll just slash, I guess? Okay, cool. Cool. Victory! All enemies defeated! You gain 2 EXP. Thank you. Oh, my gingerbread! You're Cthulhu, right? Just look at me. These tentacles and wings don't lie. I know grunting boons is not in your nature, but I'm sure you'll make an. You'll make. Is this game gonna be all puns? <sighs> but I'm sure you'll make an exception for me. I need your help. Hard pass. Look at your tinsel in a twist. I just need a teensy tiny favor, and I'm sure to make it worth your while. I doubt that. But continue. I am the Snow Maiden, Crystal Claws, Defender of Winter Highlands, and Spreader of Holiday Joy. 
I need your help to rescue my grandfather, Santa Claus. You're kidding, right? Have you seen the title of this video game? She's not kidding. The League of Christmas Evil has kidnapped Santa Claus. So pay the ransom fee and be done. They don't want money. They want Santa out of the way so they can take over the holiday for themselves. They've been sending anti-presents. Packages that, when opened, give the recipient the opposite of what they most desire. That must be why I felt my power draining. If they were powerful enough to kidnap Santa, they must be packing for some, some serious firepower. And since your name is literally in the title, you have to be super strong, right? True. I am indeed mighty, even when operating at less optimal levels. If you help me rescue Santa, I guarantee that you'll be permanently on Santa's good list. No more coal, actual presence. And if I were to wish for the power to destroy the world? I'll make sure that's granted. Really? Santa's gonna give me the power to destroy the world? That feels off-brand. You might have reservations, but I'm sure when I explain him what happens at the beginning of Cthulhu Saves the World, he'll be fine with it. You have a deal. I shall save Christmas, only to destroy it! <laughs> Cthulhu and Crystal Claws have joined forces. I did not just get an achievement called Let It Snow. Off we go! Basic tutorial <laughs> Uh, hold the cancel button while moving to run faster. Or you can do the other settings menu, set running as the default. Press the main menu button and you can- I don't know what the main menu button is. Don't forget to save often! I don't know what these buttons are! In dangerous areas, the counter meter will fill up. When full, you'll be attacked. Quickly, when the battle's about to start, you can avoid the battle. Oh, that must be the enter key. Okay. Being a certain number of enemies in a single region, the encounter meter will stop filling up, allowing you to explore freely. Feels like also gets some XP to okay. If you're feeling bloodthirsty and want or just want more EXP, you can start a battle manually from the main menu. Huh. Do bare minimum, destroy everything inside, or do anything in between. The choice is yours. I can dig it. Okay, what's the menu button though? Escape. Uh, keep playing. The game didn't exactly tell me what. There we go. Okay, so it's tab. Got it. Day zero. Same level four. That's it. Okay, cool. Which is kinda cute. Equip abilities, e equip equipment. Party chat. I haven't been in an RPG before, how's this work? For starters, you have HP. When it goes down to zero, you die. But not really, unless it's in a cutscene. HP or oh, don't HP, don't hit zero or you'll be sorry. Got it, what else? You should equip new equipment and abilities, otherwise you can't use them. Oh, don't forget to save your game. If the player messes up and they Screw you! I'll be glad you did. I'm not normally this nice, but if you mess up, it reflects badly on me. So don't mess up. Well, screw you then. Off to go. Zero three insanity abilities and unite moves. What the? What? Okay. You'll gain more abilities. <laughs> Send the abilities. One more thing. Now that you have two characters, your party can unite abilities. Each unite ability can only be used once per battle and cannot be recharged. Unite ability starts. Oh boy. It's gonna be good. Okay. Okay. Wow. What? Alright, I guess I wasn't ready. Um, let's try it. Call Kraken. Sweet. 
You got a pain pill. This item bestows a buff that lets you survive a fatal blow. Huh. Alright. I guess we just go... Oh, we go this way. Oh, so that's how that works. Or I can just let it happen. Neat. So I can literally just be like... Wait for it. Wait for it. Cool. You got a strong wand. This weapon for Crystal isn't actually that strong. Oh, well I'll just give Crystal the weapon super quick. Better than a weak wand. To chill hot chocolate could you smack very lightning. Okay, this is oh boy, this ought to be good. And I can just be like Ha But a lot of battle happen, why not? We'll just see where this goes. This is easy mode, after all. You can just kick back and enjoy it. Uh, I wanted to do something holiday-related. Cthulhu boost is dark damage. Hey, oh, I'll take care of that. Uh, I wanted to play something Christmassy for the holidays, and then possibly take a little break. Uh, so this will probably, this will most likely be the last game I play for this year. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see what this does. Um. Nice. And level up. Ability plague. No new abilities earned. Oh, I see. So I can ex. Oh, and if I let ten battles happen, then I can just walk around here, super free. And I've already been here, right? I. Okay. Um, but I wanted to play some for the holidays, and then probably take a break before going into games for 2021. So this ought to be good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was half expecting like visceral horror Santa cleanup or something. Oh. Da 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 da! Okay. Got it for robe, for crystals better than nothing. So I am, of course, gonna get into the habit of handling equipment and stuff, but that's not so bad. Like, it's, it's super basic, but, like, that's... That, that's an RPG Maker for you. I love RPG Maker games, though. Like, some of them actually get really good. Check Frost, so you're the one who is up to snow good... Oh, wait, what's the voice I gave her? Give me a second. Check Frost, you're the one who is up to no snow good. <coughs> Release my grandfather. What voice do I give for Jack Frost? Uh, to be funny or to not be funny? <clears throat> ho, ho, ho! The League of Christmas Evil has lived in shadow of that old coup for far too long. Now it's our time to shine. If by shine, you mean the Japanese word for die, then you are correct. Oh, Shine! <laughs> uh, it's a JRPG. You have to admit that some of the players are familiar with the melodramatic Japanese battle cries. I don't have. I don't have to admit anything. That's the point. With the big man out of the picture, I'm in charge. You talk big, but this early in the game, there's no way you have the stats to back that up. Basic tutorial for ailments. <laughs> See, we're not even out of the tutorial yet. I'm a tutorial boss. This cannot be. Thank God, because this voice is gonna suck. <clears throat> Where was I? Basic tutorial for ailments. 
There are seven ailments. Insanity, stun, disarm, poison, charge, enrage, and vulnerable. Oh wait, there's my own poison. The first and most important ailment is insanity. Make an enemy insane and they'll take more damage from dark attacks and deal slightly more damage. Oh, okay, that's worth paying attention to. Insanity always succeeds, but other ailments aren't geared. You may need multiple attempts to wear down an enemy's ailment HP. Stun skips a turn. Disarm lowers attack. Poison takes damage each turn. These ailments are easier to inflict when the enemy is sane. Charm attacks allies. Ooh, vulnerable lowers defense, and rage lowers AoE damage. Ooh, okay. These elements are easier to inflict against insane enemies. Huh. Alright. One last thing. Thing. Each time you inflict an ailment on an enemy, the enemy gains ailment HP for that ailment, making it harder to inflict again. You're done. I'm so boring. Oh, look, I'm just doing my job. I was just doing my job. Don't be sad, narrator. I'm sure with the power of the tutorial of the tutorial of ailments, we're sure to win this battle. Wow! 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 Enough tutorializing. Let's fight. Ouchie. Ouchie. Okay. God, Cthulhu is super overpowered! I'm just gonna have a cup of hot cocoa. Victory! All enemies defeated. Gain 212 x. Well, all right then. Fireball. Freeze. Cleanse. I can't believe I lost to a tentacle man and Santa's little brat. We sal <laughs> we slayed you, and don't you forget it. <laughs> Enough idle chat. Tell us about the League of Christmas Evil. Ho ho ho! You are too weak to deal with the other seven, I mean, six members of the League of Christmas Evil. Tell us which League member has Santa Claus. Never! You're just gonna have to interrogate them all yourself! No, there's no chance the next League villain we fight has the, has the claws, is there? The players who spent good money on this game would be rather disappointed if that was the case. Probably got this game in one of those 10 million games for a penny bundles. Let them be disappointed. <laughs> what? Oh god, I've only been at this for 18 minutes. Since I've been defeated, I might as well give you a tip. You'll never rescue Santa Claus unless you master the power of relationship. Relations. Blech. Don't you mean relationships? It's my game. I'm from Relay. The terrible pun stays. Spend time with different people in town and improve your relationships. And get cool stuff. I like cool stuff. Defeat the other Christmas League of Evil members, forge lasting relationships with others, and you just may rescue Santa. Whatever. You can't tell me what to do. If I rescue Santa, it'll be on my own terms. What's this feeling? Oh, I see. I'm being summoned away into a different RPG franchise. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
you're the narrator. That leaves you with plenty of free time to take in sights and make friends. <laughs> I'll forge unbreakable relationship bonds with others, but only for my own dark purposes. And in doing so, you'll discover that the love of Christmas was inside you all along. Or well, everyone also go insane, and their torment spirits will make my tummy happy. Either way, it'll be fun. I booked your room at one of the nicest places in town. Here, let me show you. Let's go to the hotel room. Not bad, not bad, minion. This room will suffice. Now what should I do with the rest of my day? It's time to go to sleep. Well, it's not even noon yet. Doesn't matter, one activity a day, them's the rules. You're not the boss of me. Cthulhu feels incredibly tired and goes to bed. Aw, he's so cute when he's sleeping. Wonder what would happen if I stick him his hand in this bowl of water. There's no Christmas Eve this second. Beg pardon? This feels wrong. This feels wrong. <laughs> Give me that mug of Christmas cheer. Oh my god. Okay. Um. I don't really have money. Reward fencing sword. Oh, I see. So different things actually. Uh, bear different rewards. Neat. Next edition, reward big sword. Uh, edition reward for tunic. Snow robe, enchanted tunic. Something about an enchanted tunic sounds kind of cool. Do I get to like see what it does beforehand? No. All right. Cthulhu decides to go to the post office. It's very busy. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the post office. How can I help you? Are you hiring? Of course. Christmas time is always the busiest time, so I'm always looking for some part timers. Where do you want to apply at this post office? I've always loved mail. Reading mail, moving mail, stealing mail. I mean, sealing mail. Me too. I'm quite I'm quite the mailophile. Mailophile. I've always have been. I think you will be a welcome addition to the team. Cthulhu has been hired by the post office. Now just stop by whenever you got some good free time and we'll be sure to put your talents to good work. Here you go, don't forget to wear the official uniform! Cthulhu got an enchanted tunic. This armor for Cthulhu gives him unstoppable buff at the start of combat. Hey! It's now Christmas Eve the third. Oh, I see, so I still have a chance to get each one. I'm gonna spend time with Crystal then. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Crystal. So what's fun to do in this joint? I have just the place in mind. Crystal leads Cthulhu to a large park. There is a park, outdoor ice, there's a large outdoor ice skating rink filled with happy skaters. There's also a massive Christmas tree so that's so tall, the top can barely be seen. I love it here. Being able to control ice with a wave of my hand makes it easy to do well at ice skating. But besides that, it's so peaceful here. Sometimes I like to find a bench to sit on and just gaze up. Look at the star on the tree, and also look at the stars in the sky. Cthulhu, do you remember your first Christmas? Uh, I actually don't. Do it look like someone who celebrates Christmas? No, Santa decided early on, early skip on our house on his yearly delivery. I see all the other creeping evils enjoying their brand new train sets and pop guns, and what did I get? Nothing. But even if you didn't get presents, didn't you ever feel something deeper than yourself? A lighter heart? A joyful spirit? A sense of hope? I'm too busy being evil to notice such trivial feelings. I can see I'm going to have a lot of work to do if I'm going to get you to understand the joy of Christmas. But I'm just the person for the job. Oh, I'm so excited! I'll make sure to have a strategy all planned out for maximum Christmas spirit. This is going to be so much fun. I can hardly wait. On the way home, Cthulhu spots a dog chewing on a weird-looking stick. A short tussle later, the dog is relieved of its chew toy. Cthulhu got a shield wand. This weapon for crystal boosts her defense. Um... Soup kitchen? Expedition? Expedition. Let's get a big sword. Marcus a lead on a cool expedition. Cthulhu sends Crystal to go complete it. Crystal returns. We left Christmas Land and took a bus to Innsmouth. I had a good feeling. 
This area is famous for unholy abominations, but I tried my best. As a result, we were able to get it. There was one inn that really stood out. I booked a room with faith inside of us. A treasure I'd never seen before! A big sword! So this job was a big success! You got a big sword! The weapon for Cthulhu is very big and very sword. Okay... Can I, like, equip this stuff in the Okay, cool. Equipment, uh... Neat. Cool, this is actually kind of neat. I, I'm sure it's not like much to look at in terms of uh, gameplay, but I'm, I'm digging it. Hey narrator, I'm supposed to work on my relationships when I'm done, right? That's correct. Do I have to build up non-combat stats in order to unlock new relationships? No, the developers thought about that, but decided that was stupid and made everything time-dependent. I hear you, lazy developers. Okay, that's actually funny. Uh, snow robe, fur tunic. I already have a fur tunic, so... Let's get a snow robe. Cthulhu decides to go to the movie theater. Cthulhu! I didn't expect you to be here. Ugh. I didn't expect you to be here. I have a few free movie ticket vouchers you're welcome to have. So this is four free three movie four movie ticket vouchers. <laughs> Each one is valid for any movie here. Christmas Carol night before the Nutcracker Tis the night was the night. Sure you have been since you've never been here before, let me tell you all about it. This hallowed institute used to be one of Santa's workshops, but what but when he moved to his current place, it went to disrepair. Then a plucky young entrepreneur bought out the place and turned it into a full-time cinema. And the best part, they only play Christmas movies. That's the best part. <laughs> Would you even come to town if you don't like Christmas movies? Or to mostly. What else was I going to do? Something productive? So what's playing today? It's a version of the Christmas Carol where all the characters are played by dogs. Dogs! Too late to back out now. Cthulhu and Crystal watch the dog movie. Inside the theater, Cthulhu finds, finds a discarded shopping bag and loots the contents. We got a snow robe. This one for some loose ice damage. That was even worse than I expected, and I expected abysmal. I thought they'd at least dub the dogs. Dub dogs. Two hours of barking. At least I learned a new method to drive someone insane. Don't give up on the theater just yet. Most of the movies are better than that, Drek. I don't believe you. It's not like I have anything better to do. Besides, save my grandfather. Besides, save my grandfather and Christmas. Yeah, there's no hurry when there's terrible movies to remain that remain to be seen. Cthulhu feels a pressure on his head as if someone is trying to smother him with a pillow. This is in fact what is happening. Is that supposed to be Baba Yaga? Is that supposed to be... Is that... Wakey wakey! Get off me! Wake up, Cthulhu. I found someone who knows where a League of Christmas Evil member is hiding. This is Baba Yaga! <laughs> I'm Baba Yaga Chan. Pleased to meet you, boss. Huh? League of Christmas Evil. It. The League of Christmas Evil is in the last place you'd expect. Santa's very own toy workshop. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. When the cat's away, the mice will play. I only do chicken metaphors. When the chicken's away, the chicken will play. Makes sense. Chicken are on vacation, so they're having a good time and playing. Not particularly relevant, though. So, new girl with a chicken on your head. What's with a chicken on your head? I like chickens! That's it. I'm a trendsetter. Everyone will be wearing a chicken on the head next season. Babiaga. Babiaga. I think I've heard that. I've heard of you. Aren't you supposed to be older? Like, a lot older? I'm actually a thousand year old witch. I just look like a kid. Seriously? Oh, that's nuts. Anyone who tells you that is covering for something, what you see is what you get. Indeed. 
Thanks for the lead. Let's go to Santa's workshop tomorrow. I'm coming with! I hardly think we need to take some kid. And a chicken! Don't be dissing, cluck cluck! You want to take care of this one, Manga? Thank you. On our quest, we can handle things just fine by ourselves. And that's where you're wrong. Bobby Yaga and Cluck Cluck have joined your party. I hate it when he does that. In combat, Bobby Yaga, Baba can gain chicken power. <laughs> Using a chicken move, we'll, set, we'll spend all her chicken power in order to boost the ability's power. A, at 100% chicken power, chickens mo chicken moves are twice as effective. At 200%, three times as effective. Use the power of chicken wisely in order to save crops. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just need a few moments. Okay. If she wants to join us on a noble quest to rescue Santa, I say the more the merrier. I want to rescue Santa, he can stay out of the picture forever for all I care. Look at me, I'm Santa, I'm a big fat kid, stupid head. What? Surely you can't mean that. Santa's been stiffing me presents for years. I'm gonna find him and make him give me what's rightfully mine. With interest. I changed my mind, Papiago. Let's make the big man pay. You got it, boss! I feel like I'm losing control of this narrative. Tell me about it. It is now Christmas Eve the 7th. Just a few days ago, this place was bustling with happy sounds of elves hammering, sewing, and otherwise building toys. Unfortunately, the Elvish Union has a strict no Santa, no work policy, and as soon as Santa was kid, they all abandoned their posts. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, Nelly. Alright, let's do this. Good guys have loyal followers. Santa's just no good capitalist biggie slash. <laughs> Providing all milk and cookies anyone could want is hardly the action of a slave driver. Whatever he is, he's my meal ticket to getting my powers back. We better search the place. Maybe we'll find some leftover toys. Doubt it. This place looks clean out. What's that? Click, click. You smell trouble? Little known fact that chickens have an amazing sense of smell, one that rivals the fiercest bloodhound. Uh, I don't think that's true. Besides the regular assortment of random and cat monster encounters, Cluck Cluck says she can detect the presence of 12 bad little boys. The Yule Lads! They've been eyeing Granddaddy's Christmas Kingdom for years! They'll be eyeing my. Uh, they'll be eyeing a new kingdom soon. A black eye. Oh uh, boy. Alright, I'm gonna take this as a chance to save. Because it just feels like it needs it. Uh, didn't I have, like, better equipment now? Yeah, I had something better for, um, her. Uh, snow rope. And while I'm at it, uh, let's switch some of those abilities around and see what they do. Oh, I see. That's right, because I only get four abilities. So I'm gonna put fireball since I already kind of have a healer. Reusable. Yeah, I'm gonna replace that with like. Okay, oh yeah, because she's got other stuff too. 100% stun, and I regen for 3 turns. Hey! Let's put that on the better. 
Hello, recharge one ability? That's good to know. Oh, I see. And then I can make that like... Got it, I think I got that. Alright, let's do... Oh wait, I gotta save, because I just changed a bunch of stuff. Cool. Let's do this. Cthulhu saves Christmas, everyone! I like that once I've had so many abilities, I don't- I can just stop fighting. So is this mainly gonna be like me navigating mazes and stuff while trying to save Christmas? Stop Christmas? It's Cthulhu, man. Oh, treasure chest! I'll take that. I'll even fight if I have to. Yeah, let's see what we're up against. Oh yeah, let's see if I got a new Unite. Chick Thulu. And what do you get? Eggnog. And wind damage. Chicken feed. But actually kind of cool. All right, let's try a fireball. Cool. Uh, I actually love RPG stuff. Like I mentioned, RPG Maker uh, before, but I actually do have a love of uh, some of the old school RPGs. I did play through Final Fantasy VI finally, and I absolutely love it. Kefka has become one of my favorite all-time villains. I'll have to figure that out later. When dual building isn't strong enough. Um, but along with that, uh, I just have a genuine enjoyment out of RPGs from uh, Final Fantasy. Legend of the Dragoon is probably one of my all-time favorites uh, on the PlayStation 1. This is an absolute classic, and if I ever find a way to get a video card working, I would totally, I'm going backwards, I would totally play that for the channel. <clears throat> that one would go for a whole year, knowing me though. <laughs> that would go for a long while. Alright, nothing to be had here. Interesting that encounters go by steps. Oops. Crap. Is that an Xbox logo? Not to be confused with Ball Ball. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. I love it! Not to mention those skills reset at the start of every battle. That's actually kind of cool. Nice. You got an antidote! Nice. Oh, these old RPG games. Alright, let's go this way. This is basically just gonna be me figuring out where they are at this point, but this is still fun! You know what? An anonymous fan and supporter, thank you very much for sending me this game! I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be having an absolute blast playing it. Uh-oh. Whoops. Release the Kraken! Sorry. Don't get me in trouble! No oh, wait, that's like, no, I don't want to do that. I wanna... I wanna, 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 wanna... Oh, well, alright then. Da -da 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 -da. Go for AoE, I've always had no new abilities learned. Stun chicken! Stun chicken! That sounds like something out of a out of a Zelda game. Stun chicken! I'm hoping that if I get through the oh, I'll just wail on this dude. Neat. Uh, 
I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, I have to go back to the previous room. I'm missing out on a treasure chest. Oh, no. But it looks like this is the right way to go. It just feels like it. Big open room. No. These levels are really well designed, though. I'm, I'm digging them. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I, I actually meant to take the battle. Oops. Hmm. Get the whole room, do do. Get the whole room. And kill them all. Ooh, one survived. No, it isn't. Yay. Ah, uh, boy. If this is just one big dead end, I'm gonna... Oh, wait, no, it's another hallway. Oh, I wonder if I can go back down and get the... hallway to that one treasure chest that I saw. It'd be kinda neat if I could. Uh... Yeah, would that be here? No? No, this is starting to look familiar, and I don't... Gosh darn it. Ah! <laughs> Sorry if I stop talking, I'm genu... I'm starting to genuinely get involved in this RPG and go into RPG mode. Uh... Legend of the Dragon was a fun one. Persona is obviously another personal favorite of mine. Uh, but altogether... Alright, no new abilities learned. Cool. It's nice to see RPGs still getting the love that they deserve after all these years, but this really takes me back to, like, Super Nintendo RPGs. You got a Tinker Dress. This armor for Bob increases her proficiency with I Oh. Well, it's probably better armor for her, so I'm just gonna hit that, and that, and... Boink. Did I like how uh, pixelated Cthulhu almost makes me think of Dr. Zoidberg from Futurama. <laughs> Poison them all. Oh, that's starting to... Do it. But what is... The... Who comes up with this? Legit, who comes up with this? This is incredible. Huh. Now I'm hitting something that's actually surviving. There we go! It didn't survive much longer. Yay! Where the heck is Santa? Where's Santa Claus? Oh, there's more down here. Uh, this is... Kraken. Krakatoa. Those united attacks or something else, though. Yo, sweetness. I'm guessing that I have to go this. No. No, there's more over here. So I just have one battle left, and then I go into that like free adventure mode. Just in time to get to the end of this maze, I'm guessing. I hope. Yeah, I'm not dealing with those big robot dudes again. Ah. Uh, crud, they survived. And go! Yeah! Whack! 
There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Another ability is here. Oh, break. 100% vulnerable. Now I'm not at the battle anymore. Neato. Yeah, and like I said, just in time to get to what feels like a boss room. Um, save out of habit. Here we go! Santa has abandoned you all. If you want any toys, you're gonna have to bow to us, y'all. You don't get any points for rhyming all with y'all. You rat! Santa hasn't abandoned us. He's been kidnapped. No. No, I'm Dragon Rat. No, I'm Dragon. Rat is over there. Hi there. Hi there. With Santa out of the picture, we decided it was time to go global. And what's more global than... <laughs> <laughs> Our Icelandic games were so hard. <laughs> Our Icelandic names were so hard to pronounce for the rest of the world. But everybody knows the animals are the Chinese. <laughs> 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 oh god, no! No! <laughs> oh, Nelly! Oh, no, no, no! There is so much wrong with this! Oh. Okay. What's the animals of the Chinese already? Wait, so that means one of you is named Chicken? Rooster. <clears throat> Rooster, actually. Chicken would be better. Call yourselves whatever you want. Release the jolly old man to us or perish. There's 12 of us, only 3 of you. You're the ones that do the perishing. Actually, the game engine allows for 5 enemies at a time. 70 are going to have to set this one out. No fair! And the old cat gets a spot on the roster, so technically only 4 of, four of the old lads get to fight. Four of you and four of you and a cat versus one of me. I like those odds. Don't forget about us. I feel bad attacking a cat. Like like I have genuine conflicts with this. But alright, whatever. And the cat is already done. Alright. And fireball. Alright. Wow, that one's surviving. Mortar combat. Honestly, the Yule Lads are dealing more trouble. There. Enemy is defeated. We beat him, boss! Can we have a rematch with the other seven Yule Lads? No, that would be needlessly repetitive. Chestnuts! Now that we've defeated you thanks to the game engine limitation, you must tell us where Santa is. He's not here, I can tell you that much. How ridiculous would it be for us to hide Santa in his own workshop? No, you're gonna have to face the other six- I mean, five members of the Christmas League of Evil first. Give us leftover workshop toys! We smashed them out to bits. Get out! <laughs> Faced with Red Hot Fury of Bobby Yaga, the old lads flee the premises. Cthulhu, Crystal, and Bobby Yaga head back to town, discouraged but not defeated, and a new day dawns. It is now Christmas Eve the 8th. Good morning, boss! Cthulhu opens his eyes. This time, he's not being smothered with a pillow. Can I ask you something, boss? This early in the morning? No. And it's about you! I'm listening. How'd you ever get your own game? Two, actually. There's also Cthulhu, Cthulhu Saves the World! I've been trying to pitch developers on Baba Yaga's Poultry Tycoon, but nobody's greenlighting it. No wonder. That's a terrible name for a video game. 
So look at Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Cthulhu is me, so it's awesome. Everybody likes saving things, and Christmas? ka -ching. So it's all just one big money grab where you pick popular words and string them together? Not quite. You still need a great elevator pitch. Nobody wants a tycoon chickens, but a dating sim where everyone's a rooster or a chicken? I would sell. You could use the same portraits for all the chickens and save money on asset production. Nobody would even notice. The right people would notice. A catchy name, a non-existent budget, and a bizarre concept are your tickets to a video game superstardom. But I want my video game to be good. Sorry I wasn't listening. My agent just landed me a starring role in the new Pachinko game. <laughs> I'll be going now, boss. Good talk. I think Alyssa the Sealer from Cosmic Star Heroine is in town. Maybe she can offer some pointers. That's it for today. This voice be from beyond demands you go to sleep. It is now Christmas the 9th. Oh, it made me sleep for a day anyway. Alright. Well, I've been at this for about an hour. In about 51 minutes. So, I'm gonna... Let's see, that's two of them. I'll see if I can take down three of the evils in the next episode, and then I'll do the last two. Or something like that, we'll figure it out. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, Cheshire the Cat, signing off. Everybody take care, and, uh... Happy Holidays!